Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today, y'all, I'm excited for today's video because for the first time, I'm doing an actual tutorial. I'm talking about really showing y'all how to do something. And that something is sewing some basketball shorts, okay? So today is the first video that I'm doing in this series. I don't know how long this series is gonna be, but I'm gonna be doing a series of really showing y'all from beginning to end how to make basketball shorts. I'm talking about from the very basic basketball shorts to like something that you would literally just go and buy at the store, okay? Um, in today's tutorial, we starting at the basic, basic, basics, okay? Just the most basic short, and I call it basketball short, y'all, because that's just kind of the name I give for the type of shorts that I'm making. Obviously, they're not shorts that you gotta just put on and go play in a basketball game with, but if you will, like, you know, you're kind of casual, lounge around shorts, maybe you throwing them on just to run to the grocery store, maybe you throwing them on with like an oversized tee, just on some, you know, streetwear fashion type bob. So not necessarily basketball shorts. And obviously, you can make any kind of shorts with this pattern that I'm giving you or with, you know, this technique that I'm giving you. It does not have to be basketball shorts. I'm just making basketball shorts because that's my preference. And that's what I want to make. So, of course, you can take any of these tips, any of these strategies, any of these instructions, and apply it to any shorts you want to make, okay? Um, but, again, today's video is the first video in this entire series. And in this series, we're going to do more than just make shorts, okay? I'm going to give you all kind of advice about, you know, just sewing in general, different sewing techniques, practices that I like, different tips that I learned along the way. Um, I'm going to give you all some inside information on where I get my fabric, where I get all of my tools, where I get all of my equipment, everything like that, anything that I've been using that I've learned along the way in sewing, I'm going to share that with you all, okay? Um, and the reason that I specifically want to do this video for basketball shorts is because um, when I picked up a sewing machine last year, last summer, around this time, I picked up my sewing machine, this baby right here. And I said, you know what? I want to make myself some basketball shorts. And I got everything ready. I, you know, I kind of looked around and I found some little scraps of fabric. I went and found some cheap fabric from the fabric store. And I was like, I want to teach myself how to make some shorts. So I get everything ready and I go to YouTube and I type in how to make basketball shorts. And y'all, like, I found like, <laughs> I found like two videos. And even in the videos that I found, they didn't actually show me beginning to end how to make the shorts. It was just a video of somebody sewing shorts. And it was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I didn't know what fabric to get. I didn't know where to start. So it, it took me, I'm not gonna lie, it took me about three months, three months from me actually sitting down wanting to make shorts to me actually figuring out everything I need to actually make shorts. I did eventually find a video of this lady making pajama shorts and I just kind of, you know, made that into my own little basketball shorts or whatever. But yeah, it was a process. But a year later, I pretty much, I pretty much got this down pat. Like I pretty much know everything you need to make you some bomb shorts, like some fire shorts, all right? So I'm gonna give you all all the information that I didn't get okay because i'm nice like that i'm nice right like nobody else has really sat down and given y'all all the tools y'all need to make y'all some basketball shorts and let's be honest y'all wear basketball shorts that's why you're here watching this video right now so we're gonna get into it i'm gonna let you know everything you need again this video is a basic video this is a beginner video if you will so if you already know how to sew you probably you know want to come back at a later video Okay, because this is the very basics, the very beginning. I'm not going to start at the very, very, very beginning unless y'all want me to. If y'all want me to do a video of me like pulling out my sewing machine, setting it up, threading it, so I'm setting up my other machines. Um, if y'all want me to do a video on like all the basic, basic, basics, I will. I'll do that for y'all. But in this video, the machine is already threaded. I already have all my, you know, my fabric 
everything I'm going to use for the video. So I'm going to just let you all know what you need for this video. It is a beginner video, just a basic cut out your pattern, sew it together, and construct a short, basically. And then from this video, we'll go on to the next video, the next step, the next step, the next step, until you got you some ready to wear shorts that you proud of. And I don't, again, I don't know how many videos gonna be in this series until I feel like we all experts at basketball shorts. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. All right, y'all, so the first things we're gonna start off with are the materials that we'll need in order to make these shorts. Starting from my left to my right, I'm just going to let you all know that this ironing board and this iron is sitting here because when you're sewing, you always want to keep an iron handy, all right? One of my number one tips, one of my number one rules now, something that I just kind of glossed over, skipped over when I first started sewing is I, I didn't or I underestimated the power of the iron. I would see people saying, iron down your seams iron this as you go but they was loosely kind of saying it so i was loosely kind of just glossing over it but y'all it makes a difference when you lay everything flat you iron it out it makes sewing so much easier especially when you're dealing with difficult fabrics some fabrics really will just lay down for you but even then you still want to just iron just to make it a habit okay um for this particular fabric um it's very it's very kind of loose and movable. I'm not sure if we'll be using this a whole lot, but you know what, for the tutorial and just to practice good habits, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna iron anyway. So that's iron and it's ironing board sitting here because um, it's necessary. Um, and the next item oops, is a ruler, okay? So I have this little bendable stretchy ruler. It's very versatile, I love it. Um, if you, whatever ruler you have, you have a yardstick, if you have um, a measuring tape, doesn't matter, you just need anything that can help you measure things out. For this particular pattern right now today, um, I'm going to tell you all exactly how to make them and what measurements to use. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we'll need it that much, but always have one handy because you need one handy. Next are scissors. I have just these two different ones sometimes i'll just use these little ones just to snip off like um you know quickly just snip off the thread i have these my babies because i cut everything with these i love these um and i also have some pinking shears now pinking shears aren't 100 percent necessary but if you're just starting off and you don't have um if you don't have a serger if you're not sure really how to finish the fabric yet. Pink and shears are really good. These are what I started out with because when you cut the fabric with these pink and shears and they, they have these little texture, these little grooves, it makes it kind of like, <laughs> it makes it kind of like little triangles when you cut so that your fabric doesn't unravel. So these are really good to keep your fabrics from unraveling. Um, when we sew our seams, just to lock the seams in you could just cut them with some pinking shears so next i have a seam ripper all right i keep the seam ripper handy because i don't know about y'all but <laughs> i've been messing up some seams sometimes like <laughs> um but yeah i keep this handy because lord knows when you mess up all you gotta do is just take it up it's it listen i'm gonna let y'all know one thing in danny class in my class it is okay to mess up if you mess up that's fine undo the seams cut it out redo it and jump back at the point in the video where you messed up it is okay to mess up i promise y'all you will mess up you will not learn how to sew without messing up and you're gonna have to undo some seams i don't care what nobody else tell y'all out there they might make it look perfect it is not i i've been sewing shorts for a long time and i still I'll end up doing something stupid like sewing on the wrong side so that's that um of course you'll need some pins just to hold your fabric in place and this, the things that i'm showing you right now are the very basic minimum minimal like things you need every time you sew these are the things you need okay next you all will need some fabric 
And if you didn't know you need fabric in order to make your clothes, go ahead and find you some fabric. <laughs> but um, I like this fabric. This is a mesh fabric. This, these are really good for sewing athletic type shorts. Um, and I like this fabric because it's, it's kind of stretchy, but not too stretchy, right? It's still firm enough for me to like actually do what I need to do. I know if you all have ever worked with like stretchy fabrics, you understand like how difficult that is. These aren't too stretchy. Um, so I love this fabric. And for today's video, we're not using a pattern, okay? I'm just going to use some shorts that I already have, some shorts that I already, you know, like. These are the fit that I like. So if you have any shorts around your house, I don't care what shorts they are. If they jean shorts, if they, you know, cargo shorts, it doesn't matter. Find your favorite shorts and those are the shorts that we're going to make, okay? That's what we're going to make our pattern out of. Um, but keep in mind, if you have like some jean shorts or something, Whatever shorts you make right now or whatever fabric are going to fit pretty tight. So, just keep that in mind. Um, but if you can, find some basketball shorts, find some loose shorts, pajama shorts, doesn't matter. Um, and that's what we're going to use. And next, you will need some elastic. Okay, this is sport elastic. And um, we're not going to make a full out waistband. But... We will be doing elastic just around the waist. And lastly, you're gonna need this baby right here. A sewing machine, okay? Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, I advise you to get a sewing machine. <laughs> um, you can hand stitch this if you want. I won't be here eight hours later to help you hand stitch this, um, but It'll probably be a good idea to have a sewing machine. This is my sewing machine. It is a Singer Stylus, and it's um it's pretty it's a pretty older model sewing machine. I guess it was my mom's sewing machine for years, and it was just sitting in our closet collecting dust for years until I rescued this baby out of the closet out of its misery last year. It was abandoned, and I saved it. I saved it. I saved its life. Okay. Um, and I pulled it out the closet last year and it's, it's literally, it's been my best friend ever since. All right. So now that we have everything that we need, we are going to go ahead and start cutting our fabric. Okay. Y'all. So as you can see, I have here my fabric, my, um, pins, my shorts and my scissors. So for this part, all we need are these items. And it would be good if you have any type of, anything that can weigh down your fabric. Now they do sell fabric weights at the fabric store. I just don't have any. Um, but once you get your fabric laid out, you want to just kind of hold it in place so that it's not moving around while you're cutting because cutting is important. Um, you want to get even, um, you want to get an even pattern okay and please you all don't think that you have to have like a really good mesh fabric right now because you don't we're just constructing a basic short whatever fabric you have is fine um so what i'm gonna do now is we are going to take our shorts and this is the front side of my shorts okay i'm going to fold it because we're going to do the front side first okay so i'm going to fold it like this to where the front side looks like this okay i'm going to lay it down and the good thing about this fabric or about this pattern about shorts is that you don't have to cut on the fold all right so you can cut you you definitely some people do cut on the fold but you don't have to and we're not going to for this particular tutorial so we're going to just fold it like this and lay it down now with our fabric we're going to fold our fabric in half so as you all can see, I have my fabric here. This is it. This this is the fabric opened up. But I'm gonna take my fabric. I'm gonna take the two end pieces and I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay? So that we can get two pieces of this front pattern. Alright, y'all. So now I am going to lay my 
lay my um, shorts down on a fabric like this. I'm gonna pull it up as close to the top as possible because I don't wanna waste any fabric, but I'm gonna make sure it's not 100% on the edge because I do want to have room for my seam allowance. And we are, um, we are sewing at a 5 8 inch seam allowance for this entire pattern. So everything we do will be at 5 8 inches. So if you're looking at your ruler or if you're looking at a tape measure or anything like that, um, 5 8 and I only brought out the tape measure because you can actually see the numbers on here. So 5 8 inches, uh, let's go from the 1 because this has a little metal piece right here. So if it's from the 1, it's actually the third mark from the two if that makes sense so if we're starting at the one five eighth inches this would be one and a half the very next one would be five eighths of an inch right here so if you're looking at the two it'll be one two three marks back from the two if we're looking this way from the edge which is where we measure from um, you'll go one, two, three from the edge. Okay? So that's five eighths of an inch. That's how much seam allowance we're going to allow. Alright, so once you have this laid down, and you know we're going to mark out five eighths of an inch, you can actually mark around your pattern. Um, I'm not going to because even if I did, you all wouldn't be able to see it because the markings are so light and I don't really need to. Um, but I will say this. If you all see this short, um, you can see how right here at the crotch, it goes in to the leg, like at a slant, at a diagonal. When I cut this, I'm not going to cut it that way. I'm going to cut it from here straight down. And you all will see when I cut it, I'm not going to follow that line. So that's the only thing that's going to be different. And we're going to do that on the back piece as well. I'm going to go from here straight down instead of in. Okay, but everything else, you could just go around the same shape of the front pattern of the shorts all the way around um, to the bottom. And you don't have to fold in the the top of it because we are gonna you know, put elastic around the waistband so we wanna keep this up here. But make sure you cut off 5 eighths of an inch at the top as well, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting and you're welcome, follow me. And if you cut off a little bit more than five eighths of an inch, it's fine. I promise you all it's fine. Um, again, it doesn't have to be super perfect today because I'm just basically showing y'all how to construct the shorts. Okay, so um, I usually just eyeball it because I'm, I'm used to it. Turn right here where this crotch is. And then from here you all, I'm going to go straight down, okay, right here. So you all can see that I didn't go that way, I went down this way, okay? So on this side, actually I'm going to just go ahead and keep going this way. Make sure I'm giving myself some seam allowance. So that's it for the front piece. And the front piece should look something like this. I'm gonna turn it to the side so you all can see. Um, it looks like a little boot. <laughs> and for the back piece, what we're gonna do is pretty much the same thing except if you're looking at the front of your shorts, now we're gonna turn, we're gonna fold them inside. So the front pieces are facing and we're gonna pull this out to the outside okay and keep in mind your back piece will always be a little bit bigger than your front piece obviously because the way our bodies are shaped um you might have a little more going on in the back all right um so we want to make sure we're we're giving us enough room in the back for his back piece okay um it will, the, the pattern will not match y'all. So don't be nervous or confused if your patterns are a little bit off, that's, that's normal, okay? But what I am gonna do is, 
I'm going to lay the front piece that I cut out down because I want the bottom and the top to be even. The front piece down. And I should have used two different colors now that I'm thinking about it because I don't know if y'all can see that. All right, but I want the bottom of the front fabric to match up. I mean, the bottom and the top to match up across with the bottom and top of the back fabric. Now, the outsides and the, and the crotch is going to be a little bit off on the back piece. Again, because it's, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be even. But we do want the bottoms. <laughs> Let me talk to my chest. And if it doesn't, right here at the beginning, it's not that bad. I don't want to teach you all bad um, bad instructions, but you can all, always go back and fix it when you get ready to do your waistband, or when you get ready to do your um, hemming at the end. But right now, we're going to try to get it as even as possible. So right here is the crotch of the back piece, the I mean of the front piece. The back piece is going to go a little bit over the crotch of the front piece because it's bigger. But for this, I'm just going to cut the top exactly across the same so that they're even. Oops, actually went down some. And I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom the same way. I'm just cut straight across the bottom so I don't have to do as much work when I get ready to hem they'll already be even and the good thing about this fabric again you all is that it stretches so that's the good thing about stretchy fabric is if it's not 100 percent even you can stretch it to make it even when you're dealing with fabric that's not stretchy it's a little more complicated okay so we're going to go out a little bit further here um because again we want that five eighths of an inch this is five eighths of an inch right here I'm going to sit this down so it'll be like here, okay? So it's going to be further out than your front piece, okay? Keep that in mind, y'all. Now we're just going to go along this pattern. And same thing, when you get here to this crotch area, we're going to go straight down, okay? Right now and now over here and we want to connect it right here at the bottom okay so here is our shorts we're done with these okay this is our front piece and this is our back piece just a little bit bigger than the front piece okay oh yes you are and one thing i forgot to mention and i i have a horrible habit of doing this um don't be like me sorry um when you're cutting your fabric you want to make sure you're cutting it on the wrong side of the fabric so you look at your fabric you know what the the outside of the fabric that is going to show you want to fold it inside so that you're cutting on the wrong side um, just in case you need to make any markings or is, you just want to get in a good habit of doing that. I have a very bad habit of not doing that. So, um, yeah. When you get ready to pin your fabric, you want to make sure it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip mine inside out. Now, you don't have to worry about flipping it inside out if your fabric was already on the wrong side. Um, again, that's just that's just a bad habit that I have. So I'm going to put these on the wrong sides, meaning the sides that's facing the outside should be touching each other right now. They should be kissing each other right now. All right. So we're going to take our, for our first stitch, we are going to take this piece right here and pin it from top all the way to the to the crotch right here on the edge so from this edge all the way down and we're going to do the same thing for this piece okay so we're doing the same thing on both pieces we're turning them inside out okay and we're going to pin from top to crotch 
all right let's do that right now okay so if you all can see this I'm not sure I have it pinned making sure that everything is even in each um, the front or each uh, edge piece is touching each other. Make sure they're even, okay, you all? So now we're going to sew 5 8 seam allowance from top to crotch, all right? 